Hi, my name is Chris Nelson. I'm from Seabrook, Florida, and I want to introduce our XT Laser. This is a 2 kilowatt machine, model 1309 fiber laser. From uh, XT Laser, like I said, we received it on April 20th, 2021. Let me show you around the back first. So back here you can see we've got our nitrogen set up and we're just about ready to go to liquid nitrogen. We also have oxygen for cutting carbon steel. Here's the cooler that comes with it. It's a dual cooling system. One is for the laser and one is for the head. The big lines are for the laser, the little lines are for the head. The vacuum system here, we have everything exhausting outside. We have an air conditioning building here. Then over here, I want to show you, you can see the system here with the grates. We cut a lot of aluminum and stainless steel. We do a little bit of carbon, a little bit of copper. Uh, over here, the control is excellent. I love the control. This is sight cut. It's very intuitive, and it does a lot of it automatically for you. So you have laser compensation, which the laser depends on what we're cutting, but we notice the, uh, the laser is about four thousandths of an inch in general. It's a little thinner on aluminum, especially thin sheets. Um, the travel on the machine is 51 inches in the X and 35 inches in the Y. We've had really good luck with XT Laser. Their service has been spot on. The quality of the machine seems excellent. It's very fast. Compared to plasma, this is so much cleaner and so much faster. Very efficient, as I said, software and piece of equipment. Uh, we communicate with XT Laser regularly. Any issues we find with the machine to resolve quickly. Um, as I said, the software here is site cut. It's very nicely laid out with a control. Um, we use the nozzle heads here. You can see you change out the nozzles according to the thickness of the material you use. And you can see the head here. So the machine is actually a four axis machine. You have X, Y, and Z going up and down. The head actually follows the, the piece of material. So if you had a bowl shape, it would actually follow the bowl contouring the bowl, but the fourth axis is actually the optics, and the optics you control to where you want the focus point, whether you want the focus on top of the part, the middle of the, the sheet of material, or the bottom of the sheet of material. With that, you can pretty much cut just about anything. So uh, one of the other things that we cut was spring steel, we didn't have any problem with that, galvanized material some of the oddball stuff, but most of the things that we cut are stainless steel and aluminum. Thank you for your time, and I hope you look into XT Laser.